Hey guys, you won't believe what I have today. Yeah, it's this. I couldn't believe either. I got contacted by M5 Stack and after a brief fight with customs, this is on my desk. So what's inside you might wonder? Well, it's their latest product and they sent me a review unit. So I wanted to share it with you. And I'm also really thankful for the opportunity to do this. So without any more delay, I'll take out the big knife and open up the box. Like I said, I had some delay with the delivery and it's currently really late. So this will be a video about my first impressions. So I'm gonna do a second video with more details about it. Okay, so there it is. So this is the latest product they got. This is the Cartputer Advanced. And by just looking at it, it's the actually the same size as the old one I have. Please keep in mind that I have the first version of the card pewter. I know there is a second one, but what's this? Oh, that's interesting. So this is a war antenna. Interesting. And a pen. That's cool final touch. The question is, is it clicky? Yeah, it is. Now I have a pen to sign off my shipments. This is cool. I'll use it or just fidget with it. Okay, let's clear up the mess. But correct me if I'm wrong, but didn't the first computer ship with a row of tape? It's gonna be interesting if they ship the new one with a pen. Anyway, uh, thanks for the pen, I'll use it. So now with the star of the show, for everyone that watched my channel, uh, you should know um, that I really, really like my card pewter. I've talked a lot about it, so I don't need to mention any of the things I said before, but um, on first look, it seems that they've changed the font on the keys. It's more visible now. And the buttons feel nicer, I think. Let me open it and try again. Ah, yeah, the smell of new touch on my desk. Love it. Also, I think it feels lighter than the old version. Might be wrong. I'll look it up for my second video. Looking at them side by side, I can tell that obviously the color is different. And yeah, the, the buttons click differently and they are easy to press, where the old version, the buttons are more clicky, but you have to use more force. So I think if you're playing games on it or typing a lot, it's going to be easier on the new version. They definitely changed the switches on the buttons. I like that. I like that. So if we look at the back, yeah, in typical M5 stack fashion, we have everything about the device, just like with the, the old one. But there are a lot of changes, a lot of changes. And right on top, we have the star, if I can say that, for the new card computer. It's new uh, expansion port. And I think that will be very useful because um, I'm sure you've seen videos on people that they like to extend the range of it or add another module to it. And they usually 3D print another housing or drill the back of their card computer but with this, it's going to be so much more easier. Yeah, definitely a lot is going on at the new card pewter and I, I like the changes. There is a feature that I won't mention right now. I will mention it later because I love what they did. You might have already spotted it, but yeah, I'm going to keep it for later. So far, I like all the changes and yeah, even even the switches on top are are different. So they have definitely changed something. Yeah, they feel more smoother uh, when you're pressing them compared again with the old one. Okay, enough buttons. Let's see this antenna and how it actually fits. So yeah, um, with the new port, there is so much possibilities and so many things you can do with the card computer. It was possible 
before this, but it took a lot of knowledge and the chances of you damaging your device. But this is totally a game changer. I don't know currently what accessories are going to be on sale for the newer card pewter, but this antenna is a great start. According to the sticker, this is an 868 MHz antenna. So I'm just guessing, but there should be other types of antennas. And just like a glove, it fits on the back of the card pewter. Okay, that's, that's interesting. Not sure what the English word is, but the ears on the antenna fall right on top of the back cover and you can secure it with two screws. And now the feature I said I'll mention and I'm gonna use a lot. The new Carputer Advanced has a headphone jack. I couldn't believe I saw it at the back, but they've included it and that automatically turns it into my music player. So let's check out what's inside. Keep in mind that this is the stock firmware of the device, so there is not going to be a lot. Let's just briefly go through it. Most of the things are the same on the older models. However, there is one thing that stands out. The new advanced model has six axis motion sensor, and that is quite impressive. And I'm sure a lot of people will find usage for it. Okay, so we have a lot of changes on the outside and we have a lot of changes inside. Let's have a quick look on the inside and see the differences. And again, right away you can see that a lot of things have changed. The new Carputer Advance has one single bigger battery, where the older model has two smaller batteries. Also, there is one unpopulated connector with its information on site. That's also quite interesting. I think people will do a lot with this device now. But just for the sake of comparison, uh, let's open up the old model to see the, the differences. What I like it here, it was the solution on how the battery was connecting with the board via spring pins. That was really cool and the board itself had a lot of information on it. But if you look them side by side, uh, it kind of feels that the old model was like a teenager thing where the new model looks like a guy in a suit. But anyway, um, I don't think the battery upgrade was necessary. It's welcomed, but I never complained about the battery life on my device. So for my next video, I will get more firmware uploaded on the device and I want to try a few things. But if there is something specific that you want to see uh, with the new Carputer Advance, just let me know in the comments below and I will do it for you. Thank you for watching and I hope you like this video. See you into the next one.